Wouldn't it be great to take a field trip to Denmark? Man, I would love that. But we're just going to have to talk about it today. I bring it up because so many politicians will refer to Denmark as an example of successful socialism. And I want to say right at the outset, wrong. Not only are they not in a socialist economy, they are the freest economy, the most capitalist economy pretty much in the world, and certainly much more than us here in America, believe it or not. Now, they do offer the national health care, the free tuition that you hear about time and time again, but that's just a big welfare stuff, okay? Uh, and they pay dearly for that. Uh, just imagine this. Next time you get your check up, look at it, and imagine paying 50%, half your wages to the government for these programs. So they've chosen to do that. It's just a big welfare, a big nanny thing, but it's not socialism. Now let's talk about taking Denmark further than just these two programs, which is what I'd like to do. So if we're going to talk about Denmark, if we're going to use them as an example, let's look at all of it. First, let's look at immigration. I think it almost humorous because you'll never hear this from the politicians, but Denmark is pretty much all white as far as race goes. OK, uh, their borders, if we talk about immigration, are closed. There's no such thing as open borders like what we're experiencing here in our country right now. They did not even participate in a U.N. program to bring Syrian refugees into the European countries. They said no. They took none of them. And even further, you know, in our country right now, it's all about diversity and multiculturalism, which means Hey, we open our borders, bring in as many millions and tens of millions of people as we can. And you know what? No matter where you come from, you don't have to change a thing. You can maintain your cultural diversity. We want your identity to be in all public places. We'll even pay for it. We'll make sure that our businesses, our government, our schools will tolerate whatever it is you want to bring into that. And you don't have to change a thing. Not the case in Denmark. You know what they focus on? They demand assimilation. They welcome you as an immigrant. You can keep your, your cultural differences in your home and your private, but in the public, hey, you're going to be a Dane. They even passed a law about a year ago that said you know, women cannot wear coverings over their faces. I mean, they call it the burqa ban. I mean, can you imagine that? But again, they demand assimilation. Man, I long for that. You know, we ha still have all our money. Uh, e pluribus unum. Uh, we just don't have it anymore in our politics and government. And lastly, let me just hit capitalism. They have the freest business environment on the planet by far. I mean, as a small business owner, if you fire somebody, they don't interfere at all. There's no courts you know, coming to, to cut your head off. Uh, they love private property, which is the heart of capitalism, and do everything they can to encourage individuals to buy, to start businesses. And it's incredible for their economy. So, hey, I'm in for Denmark.